Hello and welcome to How to Play Pi Gout Poker. My goal here is to go and teach you the super simple way to play. This is not going to be advanced strategies. This is going to be for the beginner who just wants to know once and for all how to play. I'm going to walk through it simply, and this is a free game. I'm not actually betting any real money here. So it usually works like this. Imagine a casino where everybody is sitting at a table. Everyone's going to get seven cards. So I'm going to go ahead and make a, a bet of, I don't know, $50. And we're going to say deal. And what this is showing me is my seven cards face up, and it's showing me the dealer's seven cards face down. Now, you don't get your cards dealt face up. Only you get to see your cards. Um, you are only playing against the dealer, even though there's other people. Here is how you play. You need to take your seven cards, and you need to make the best five-card hand you can make and the best two-card hand you can make. The five-card hand they call the high hand. The two-card hand they call the low hand. And the weight you win is if your five-card hand and your two-card hand beat the dealer's five-card hand and two-card hand, you win. If the dealer's five-card hand and two-card hand beats both your five-card hand and two-card hand, you lose. But what usually happens most of the time is that you win one of the hands and you lose one of the hands to the dealer. In that case, you push and no money is exchanged. But now this is important. Your, your two card hand must not be higher than your five card hand. So let's look at our hand here. And you're looking at it like you would any five card hand of poker. And we're gonna make our high card hand the pair. And then what I usually do is I then pick the next two highest cards, which would be an ace and a jack, and make that my low card hand. I go split. Push. And so now, it's, oh, just look what's happened. We've pushed, but look what I have here. I have a pair on the bottom of queens. The dealer had a pair of aces, so he won that, but his high card was only a queen high. So uh, again, I won one, he won one, and so it was a push. So let's play again. I want to show you that there's also wild cards here, and I want to show you that you can also do straights and flushes. I don't really, uh, you cannot get a straight and a flush on a two card hand. It is really just a pair or a high card. Um, straights and flushes work on the five card hand. In this case, we don't have the ability to make a straight or a flush. We're gonna to have to do the same thing we did last time. We're gonna to have to let our pair of nines be the high card and then I'm going to take the next two highest cards and make that my highest low push. hand. Again, it's a push. My pair of nines um, lost to the straight that the dealer had. However, my high card of an ace-queen beat their high card of an ace. So far, we've played two rounds, and we've pushed both times. No money has been exchanged. So you've got to ask yourself, how is it then that the casino makes money on this game if they're pushing? And the answer is that when you bet, for example, I've bet $50 here and you lose, they take that $50, but when you win, believe it or not, you don't get the full $50. They take a commission off of that. I might get $45 because they take a commission out of it. So that is essentially the way the casino makes money on a game that's very even. So the final thing I wanna talk about is what happens if you get dealt a wild card. The Joker is a wild card which can be used only, this is important, as an ace and no other card or to complete a straight, a flush, or a straight flush. So you cannot use the wild card to make a pair. That's the important thing to know here. The only thing we can use this Joker for, unfortunately, is as an ace. We have no pair this is actually not a great hand. We're going to have to use the joker as an ace high, and I'm going to then use my next two highest cards as my low hand. But split push. it, we're probably going to lose. Let's see. Well, the good news is, is that we pushed because the dealer didn't have much better. I'm hoping that we can do one more where I win. So let's take a look here. Let's deal. And I have a interesting hand here because I have three aces. So I have three of a kind. And on the one hand, I could make my five-card hand a three of a kind, which is great, but 
ultimately my low hand would just be a jack 10 and that may be a losing hand and i hate to ultimately push when i have three aces on the other hand i could just go with the pair of aces in the the high hand and then i can take one of those aces and maybe have an ace jack which is a winning low hand we don't know what the dealer has the dealer could also could have three of a kind so if i went with two aces here um in the in my high hand i would lose so i'm going to go and i'm just going to break it and i'm going to go ahead and put the ace jack and leave the pair of aces you Split, win and i win because i was able to use a pair of aces they had a pair of fours and fortunately, um, smartly, my high card was an ace jack. Their high card was a king. Had I put those three aces for a three of a kind and made my high hand just the jack 10, I would have pushed. Here's another jack, which again can be used as a straight or a flush. And in this case, we may be able to use it as a straight. I actually would give up one of the six. We could give up one of the sixes and we can give up the ace as our low hand. So it's an ace high low hand with a straight high hand. You win. And we won on that. I hope you learned a lot from this. Please leave me a comment. I've got all the casino uh, games on my website, lots of card games, solitaire. Please check it out. Have a good day.